Time for an honest relief factor review, spoiler, it's not that it's terrible. It's just really overpriced and you can get everything functional in relief factor in better doses at a lower cost. From Flex again, our number one pick as the best joint supplement, along with seven other fully dosed ingredients. So, before we even get onto the other issues with relief factor we can't give it more than a 5 out of 10 due to that alone, and it's going to be losing more points for some other issues. First off there's the shady advertising practices, their tendency to overpromise and their aggressive subscription model, which a lot of people have problem cancelling, takes off a few more points. Next up we've got some underdosing, and we'll come on to that now. Relief factor is made up of 4 ingredients, and they're not bad, omega, turmeric and resveratrol are good. The icarine is an odd choice, but we'll get into some more details. And unfortunately thanks to the dosing relief factor is ultimately a glorified fish oil capsule. First up, omega-3 fatty acids. Sure, omega-3s are great for reducing inflammation and supporting joint health. But here's the thing, you can get a high quality fish oil supplement that packs more omega-3s at a fraction of the price of relief factor. They're slapping a fancy label on it, but that doesn't make it magical. You can save your cash by heading to your local store and grabbing a good omega-3 supplement. Relief Factor doesn't have some special version of it, it's literally just fish oil with a premium price tag. Then there's turmeric. Turmeric is famous for its anti-inflammatory effects. But, here's the catch, how much turmeric are we actually getting in Relief Factor? Not nearly enough. You need 500 mg of curcumin, and the amount of curcumin in relief factor is only 120 mg. So pretty easy to see the issue here. And you can get the correct dose of both these ingredients for less. Next up is resveratrol. Now, resveratrol is interesting. It's known for its antioxidant properties and is usually talked about in the context of heart health or longevity. And interestingly there are some studies that suggest it can have some benefits for joint health, but the dose is 100 mg, and relief factor only has 70 mg. And can you guess what we're about to say? Yes, our recommended supplement has the correct 100 mg dose. And finally, icarine, better known as the active ingredient in horny goat weed. Yes, it's in relief factor. And sure, it might help with blood flow and muscle recovery, but again, this is far from being a game changer in your joint health journey. Icarine is more commonly seen in supplements designed for the bedroom, so its inclusion here feels out of place and more like filler than a core component of an effective pain relief strategy. And just to give you an example of what you could be getting for $20 a month. Less than relief factor, you can take a look at the ingredients list side by side of our top pick and relief factor, it's a pretty straightforward comparison. Now, let's talk price. This is where relief factor truly becomes a joke. They offer a $19.95 trial, but then the full price kicks in at $79.95 per month. That's nearly $80 for a mix of underdosed ingredients you could easily find at a lower cost if you pieced it together yourself. And let's be honest, if you're spending that much on a supplement, you better see serious results. But what are people saying? Some claim it works, but for many others, it falls flat. They've spent the money and seen little to no difference in their pain levels. At that price point, you expect something that's going to change your life, not something that gives you mild, if any, improvements. Here's the bottom line, relief factor is overhyped, overpriced, and underwhelming. You're essentially paying a premium for common ingredients that don't do enough to justify the cost. For the same price or less, you can buy better quality supplements individually, ones that are dosed properly and actually work. Don't get sucked into the marketing machine. Relief Factor banks on the natural supplement trend, but when you break it down, it's nothing special. And there is nothing you get from Relief Factor that you don't get better and cheaper from Flex again. Oh and they don't force you to subscribe and offer a money back guarantee. Have you tried Relief Factor and felt underwhelmed, or maybe you got sucked into the hype? Drop a comment below, let's hear your thoughts. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more honest reviews, because we're here to cut through the marketing fluff and bring you the real story behind these products. Stay sharp, stay healthy, and I'll catch you in the next one.